Hello everyone. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to use the slab method to create an owl. Um, I have my workspace set up, so I have a mat, I have two wooden slats, I have my clay, and I have a rolling pin. And first we're going to be rolling the clay out to the thickness of the slats. I always like to use wood slats because it helps to make sure that the clay is the same thickness all the way across and it makes a sturdier piece of clay that's less likely to crack or break later in the process. So I do flip it every once in a while. I want to cozy up my slats a little closer here so that my wood and rolling pin is for sure on them. And just a little more rolling and then you'll have a nice flat workspace. So we are going to be turning this into an owl. And you guys have a lot of freedom here. You can decide what shape your owl is going to be and how it's going to look. And so I might just kind of lightly draw in a body shape. I think that for owls, usually we kind of work with like an oval shape. And I might just leave in a couple triangles for where the ear feathers are. And, you know, if you decide that you don't like a mark, you could always rub it out and then redraw it. And when you're happy with it, I'm going to press all the way through, cutting straight through the clay. And then I'm going to have a lot of extra pieces, which is nice, because we can always attach other details. So I have the basics here. I have my ears, I have my body, and I want to create eyes. You can do eyes a couple different ways. You can press things right into them. You can add different pieces of clay. You could even carve out the eyes. I think for me, I'm going to maybe do a combination of that. I'm going to roll out some small coils here and I might coil the outside of the eyes just to make some big rings. Looks good. Might even cut this piece in half and use these. All right. so. Could attach these to make some nice coils. I think these are going to be some good sized eyes. When you are attaching clay to clay, you have to use the score, slip, stick, and smooth process. So to score, you're going to want to kind of rough up the clay where you're attaching it and rough up the piece that you're sticking on. I'm going to do that over here too. Okay. So that's the scoring part. The slip, that's our watery clay mix. You can just kind of wet it down a little bit. It's going to help it stick. And I might even give it a little bit of a twist. And I'm going to wet my fingers and just try to smooth the outside. You don't want those to pop off when the clay is drying. After that, you can add any other details that you want. You know, maybe I'll, I almost want to take my marker here and see what this is going to do. Ooh, that's kind of fun. So any combination, I might give mine a little bit of details too. We do want to think about textures. For the beak, and the wings and the belly, it's all the same process, you know, adding details. You can take away designs, you can scratch things in or press in textures. I think for the beak, I'll just form up and sculpt a little, you could use a diamond shape or a triangle shape. So I kind of am pressing it this way and then pressing it this way. Let's see. It's not too bad. Okay, so I could stick that on next. Using my tool, scoring, adding the slip, sticking, and then doing some smoothing. Okay, so for my owl belly, I think I want to try to experiment with some of these cool patterns here. I'm going to try to press in this pattern. And I could just very lightly use my rolling pin just to help get that in there. That's nice. And then for the wings, I could 
actually attach, I think I'm going to attach my wings. You could make a longer shape and then fold your wings in. I've seen some owls like that. I think for mine I'm going to attach him. So I'm going to move my slat over. I'm going to roll out a new slab here so that it's going to be the same thickness as the rest of my owl. If the clay gets too skinny, it's going to be very brittle and it's prone to breakage. So I'll cut out a teardrop and I'm going to use that as a stencil to make a second one. There we go. Okay, now I have two matching wings and I think I do want to add a texture. Look in my box, I have some other tools here. I got this nice rolly one. Ooh. There. Add a cool polka dot texture. Okay, and then really, really quickly, repeat those Morning, same steps. Staff. One more announcement, just a reminder that the bus is here for the PBIS bus expectations. I will be going over all of the bus rules at the designated time, so please make sure you bring your classes out to the bus at your designated time. All right, and there's our principal, Mrs. Walden. So the wings could stick out. They could be turned in a little. I think I will turn mine in. And I'm going to flip them over, just kind of smooth those out, okay? Smooth your edges real quick when you're done. You can use your wet slip and then make sure your name is on the back.